So we're here with the uh, new Rich Tech version 2 Pro. In this video we're going to cover the unboxing and putting it together and then we'll dive into some of the new features and software capabilities of this unit here. All right, so let's start uh, with the unboxing process. Make sure you give yourself plenty of space here. In this case, I'm just gonna move some stuff around. Um, box itself, pretty simple box. Pretty much in comparison to say your screwdriver, not too big. Um, save the padding, you will need this to put it together. I'll show you why here in a second. This is what I personally like to do. Um, the unit itself, so you'll notice if you have experience or have seen the other V2s, very similar to it. Uh, one major difference is there are less interfaces underneath. You only have three in this case, a power ethernet and your door access. The diameter of the actual screw part here uh, is also different. Um, so I have a V2 base that I'm actually going to use to hold this together. However, you'll notice it's a bit loose. Definitely get the right uh, V2 Pro accessories, desktop mount, or the pedestal mount. Uh, right off the bat, make sure you take the uh, little nut here. You wanna save this for later. And I'm gonna actually, like I mentioned, use this so it holds the unit here as I put it together. Um, in the box, there's also an ethernet cable. You have a user manual and you have your power supply. Go ahead and move that out of the way there so you have plenty of room. I already have an ethernet cable wired up here so I'm not gonna use this. Um, again, I'm still holding onto that nut that's gonna actually hold it to the base here. I'm gonna move it slightly off to the side. Let's take a look at the power supply here. Uh, so. Right off the top, you'll see you have your power supply, and then there is an actual extension. It's a very nice touch, rich tech. Um, so if you do wanna have this with a little bit more slack in your cable, you can just plug them together. Uh, go, go ahead and move that out of the way one more time. So this is the uh, V2 base. Had it here, gonna use it to put this one together. Gonna start by moving the cables right through the base. If you have the pedestal mount, you'll notice that the pedestal itself has cables that are going to come up and match up to the ones here. Uh, same process there. And the pedestal, you just screw this in. For the desktop mount, in this particular case, again, I am using the, uh, the V2 base. And notice how the padding comes in very handy in this particular case. So you can, it holds things together for you. And I'm going to go ahead and just move this now. There is a a lot of cables in here, don't worry. The V2 Pro only has three connections, so you only have to worry about three. I'm gonna plug in the ethernet connection to the unit here. And I'm gonna plug in the power as well. Again, if you have the V2 Pro base and the V2 Pro pedestal, you'll have those connections very easily there. There's a lot more into this older base. Uh, the interface, I'm not gonna plug in it right now, so you don't need to worry about that here. And then I'm just tucking in the cables. Now this does have a cover. I'm not gonna put the cover on here. Um, but one more thing, before you plug anything else in here, you gotta secure it. So make sure you use this nut here to kind of go through this. Very, very important. Otherwise it'll be very loose. Uh, again, I'm just pushing this through here and I'm just gonna go ahead and tighten this. This one's easy to miss. Notice I just did that myself. Um, let's go ahead and lift it a little bit so you can secure it and just tighten it enough so that you can see the front of the base here position it just right and then go back in there and tighten it a little bit more you don't have to overdo that uh, secures very well now the cables let's go ahead and plug those back in so again the ethernet and the power is what i need currently and the reason i'm plugging them in underneath here is just like the pedestal and the desk mount, there are connections on the outside, which makes it super easy to just plug in, say, your power cable to it and your ethernet in this case. So now that you're set up, you can move everything out of the way. And let's go ahead and cover powering the unit up, 
and how it works and the new software here.